Russell in Cleveland, Ohio writes to me, Hi Paul, this is Russell, originally from Denver. Ah, how'd you wind up in Ohio? Well, I currently have an 802 Nautilus loudspeaker being biamped with bridged Rotel amps. And I'm wondering if maybe if I unbridge them and run one channel to the high inputs and the other channel to the low level input, with the speaker, uh, will, will the speaker still be as loud? Will I gain any sonic benefits from running the amps, Rotel RB1070s, let's see, in stereo mode versus bridged? Okay, that's, that's a good reasonable question. I just, I'm sitting at Jonathan's bench here, our tech, and I'm just, before I get going, I just wanted to show you this. We're, I can't tell you what this board is for, isn't that a beauty? Look at this. What's crazy about this board, if you can see all the components on it, there's 1,019 components on this. 1,019 components. And Jonathan, these are all SMT, well, the caps aren't and all that, uh, sat here and over three days hand soldered every single one of those. Amazing. <sighs> We're lucky to have some really great people here. Uh, what are we talking about? Bridged amps. Okay, first off, a bridged amplifier will be twice as loud as a non-bridged amplifier. And that is because in order to get what it's doing, it doubles the output voltage. So imagine that you have a stereo amplifier and the left channel is putting out 10 volts and the right channel is putting out 10 volts and we have a, a signal going like this, right? And it's making the, the, the center, right? So you got 10 volts going on for the left, 10 for the right, and you got left speaker and right speaker and they're each producing whatever they produce. Now if you take that same stereo amplifier and you flip the phase on one so that as the left channel is going up, the right channel is going down, between the two, if you then just put that to one speaker, you now have double the voltage, right? And when you double the voltage, you quadruple the wattage if you have enough current down here. But it's going to be twice as loud, or twice as, twice as, twice the voltage, it won't really be, it'll sort of be twice, anyway, I'm not gonna get into all the, the decibel stuff because that only confuses people. It will be louder when it's a bridged amp, then it's a stereo amp. So if you take your stereo amp and you put one channel for the top and one channel for the bottom, then you're going to um, ha have lower volume. Is there an advantage to it? Well, a lot of people like biamping, which is what that's called, and there are some advantages to it. I, I unless an amplifier is designed to be bridged in the first place, as a number of ours are, I don't think taking a stereo amp and bridging it is a great idea. If that's how it's designed from the get-go, then, then it's fine. But taking one that's designed as a stereo amp with a bridging switch that flips it, it's usually a compromise. So if it were my system, I would go with the bi-amped and don't worry about the fact that it's a slightly lower volume. I think you're gonna get better sound out of it in a bi-amp as opposed to bridged, okay? Have fun.